here. I'm going to build it. Go fifth grade. Let's kick it. Divide it, baby. Our stop. With the remainder of the list set, divide it back to the brand new invention. Remainder. Our thing of the past. Putting a decimal and a zero is not last. Will the decimal ever stop? Yo, I don't know. But keep on dividing and let's go. To the extreme, I rock the vision like a ninja. Take the proper pressing the vision won't get ya. Divide it, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Divide it, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Today we're going to be learning how to divide decimals, dividing problems with decimals in the um, dividend. Um, my example today is going to be 6 and 48 hundredths divided by 4. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I want to take this decimal point right here before I even start dividing and I'm going to raise it to the roof. I'm going to put it right here. Make sure that it is directly above where the decimal is here, okay? So my first problem would be um, if there is a decimal, and this is just an easy way to remember it, in the house, right here to my house, raise it to the roof. And that's just my quick and easy way to remember how to do that. Okay, so the second thing I would need to do is just divide it normally. So I will divide normally. Okay, so four would go into six one time. And then I would do my four times one, just like Miss Salheber or Miss Hampton uh, told you on the video, and I would subtract 4 times 1 from my 6, which gives me 2. I'm not really bringing my decimal down, I don't need to do that, but I am going to now bring my 4 down, okay? So then 4 goes into 24 6 times, and then I'll do 6 times 4, which is 24 again, 0, and now I bring down my 8. And then four goes into eight two times. So again, I will do two times four, like we saw in our video yesterday, and subtract that. Okay, so my answer to six and 48 hundredths is one and 62 hundredths. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a way to divide a number um, by that doesn't have a decimal, but I want to get rid of the remainder. So I'm going to put a number in here. Let's just go with, let's see, let's just an example from last year. Let's just do this. Five, or 28 divided by five. Now what my goal is, is to make it so I don't have a remainder. And I know that sounds kind of weird right now, but I think you'll understand once we do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is divide normally, okay? So 28 divided by 5, I know that 5 goes into 28 5 times, okay? So 5 times 5 is 25, so I'll subtract my 5. And then I go 8 minus 5 is 3, okay? Now I have a remainder, but I want to make this number so it doesn't have a remainder. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually change this number without changing the number. I'm going to put a decimal and a zero. So 28 and 28 and zero tenths is still the same number. I have not changed this number at all. But now I have a decimal. So I'm going to raise my decimal to the roof like I did last time. Okay? And I'm going to add my zero. Now I can go 5 goes into 30 six times. And then I'll go 6 times 5, which is 30. And now I have no remainder. Okay? So you can add a million zeros to this dividend without changing this number. As long as the zero is in between the 2 and the 0, the numbers remains the same. So if I 
did have a remainder, I could simply add another zero until I no longer had a remainder. So 28 divided by 5 is 5 and 6 tenths. Uh, you'll want to actually check for reasonableness, make sure that that makes sense. We know that 5 times 5 is 25, and um, you should uh, have the 6 tenths left over. And that's it. Okay, now it's your turn to um, do some examples. Be prepared to uh, do the division and show your teacher tomorrow, okay? So we're going to start with um, five, let's see, about three, okay, 394 divided by five, okay? So I want you to divide this one out and I want you to make it so it does not have any remainder. And then I will give you another one. Okay, and then I would like you to divide this one out as well. So be prepared to show your teacher those two problems tomorrow. Divide it, baby. Du, 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 du. Divide it, baby. Du, 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 du. Got it? Got it?